Cancel culture is something that is very prevalent in today's society. When an individual says or does something that a majority of people do not like, they are called upon to be canceled. It is a modern day internet-based boycott. And in some cases, it is understandable why people would react in such a way, but a lot of the times when someone is canceled, it is based off of one side of a story, and there are a lot of accusations that can spread this way that have not even been proven. And there have been situations recently where this has resulted in tragedies, and this is why cancel culture needs to stop. It is more harmful than helpful in most cases, and modern day cancel culture has become based off of the court of public opinion. Something that happened very recently was the situation with Alec Holoka. Alec, a developer for the game A Night in the Woods, took his own life, only days after sexual assault allegations were made against him by Zoe Quinn. Everyone has their problems with Quinn, but a lot has been brought into the light about her, and we know that she has lied about projects, experiences with other people, and she has involved herself with people in ways that isn't seen as proper. With Quinn, her credibility will always be in question due to the rough past she has had, and that is an unavoidable fact no matter what she does. We have Alec. A man who has been painted to us to have deep psychological problems, which was accused of awful things that we do not know if they were true or not, but he is gone now and we will never get his side of the story. And then we have his narcissistic business partners who have been writing posts discussing the situation which seem to be an attempt at saving their own careers rather than actually trying to put to rest what might or might not have happened. It gets even worse because Zoe Quinn, the person that allegedly triggered his suicide due to the unproven accusations, has decided to delete their social media because they needed to break. She is so selfish that she did not even consider how she affected his family and their lives. Zoe Quinn knew his psychological problems, knew the reaction that people would have towards him, and did it anyway. She has been around long enough to understand the mom mentality that comes out of posting something like this on a platform like Twitter. The only reason a person would post something like this on a social media platform is for that exact reaction to happen. And along similar lines, another example is the video released from Pro Jared that was addressing both criminal and non-criminal accusations against him, which shows almost definitive proof that he never committed a crime while he was destroyed in the court of public opinion while he was putting together his defense. Cases are not supposed to be tried as the court of public opinion. Things like Twitter are not supposed to represent a court. There have been very serious criminal accusations being made against people, and I question why it is being put on Twitter first. Shouldn't these things be brought to, I'm not sure, the police first? Shouldn't you maybe file a police report before creating an autobiography on Twitter or another form of social media? It is almost like by posting it on social media, we are taking away a fundamental right of our justice system, which is the right to face your accuser. The reason system like this exists are so you cannot accuse someone without facing them, because there are always two sides to a story, and one should not be favored over another because someone might have a juicier story, or because someone wrote theirs first. Twitter and other forms of social media are turning into kangaroo courts, where people can ignore standards of laws or justice and have a case against someone with little to no good evidence. If we are looking at Zoe Quinn, why did she, so many years later, come out against this man and accuse him of these awful things? There had to have been some motivation that made her do so. Obviously, Alec had some deep psychological problems, 
But looking at his business partners, why would they continue to work for him after all of these years? Is it because he was well known in the industry? Was it because there was a monetary gain there? And looking at Pro Jared, why is it that his ex-wife decided to pour all of this information out now? Is it because she knew he wanted a divorce and she wanted to gain as much notoriety from the situation as she could before they divorced? Was it because she wanted to end his career because they divorced and maybe she was jealous? I am not saying that any of these things are true, but when we see situations where someone is cancelled, we need to look at the motives behind those that are coming out with their stories that seem suspiciously timed. It is a form of blackmail to time release something that is potentially damaging for another person. I have seen an argument made recently that end cancel culture is cited as an attempt to silence, listen, and believe. But what listen and believe should be is listen and prove. Because everyone is supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. Everyone deserves their day in court, both the accused and the victimized. But social media is not a place to air your grievances and pass traumatizing events to the world. This is a cultural phenomena that needs to change and cancel culture needs to end. But that is all that I wanted to discuss today. This is a very serious topic, and I do hope you let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure to share this video if you did enjoy it. Please make sure to give it a like if you did, and a dislike if you did not. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.